hey, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with Hala Free Roam for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. That's right, we're going to get all of the collectibles scattered throughout. In fact, there's a handful of puzzles, a couple of missions, a freely, freely, freely. And, of course, we got that gold brick monument, too, which everyone we seem to find goes up 10 bricks. So we should stay ahead of that process and be able to complete them all as long as that continues. But, hey, we wanted to take a quick peek and just kind of show you where we're at. So we are spawning in Hala, as opposed to in front of the Avengers Mansion. And uh, we have completed Egypt. Well, sort of. As you might have noticed, there was a locked mission there. It requires us to complete a mission in Manhattan which there are a few missions that need to be completed in Manhattan before they open up elsewhere. And there are a few other places that need to be completed before they open up in Manhattan too. So uh, we're going to try to do the best job possible in taking the least amount of resistance through our journey here. And with that all being said, we do have quick links down below in the video description if you already know all this stuff or are in a hurry to find a particular item. But we also wanted to touch base on the challenges. This is the last time we'll actually show you the challenges. We're going to talk about them because there are a few that are accumulative. Some that we are going to find along our journeys, kind of like the boss battles. Some of these areas, once you complete all the collectibles, open up a boss battle and we have to complete that boss in order to ring them off. Cartographer is another one. You have to activate all these map point terminals in order to get that challenge complete. So as we go through the rest of the free roam, we are going to find most of those things along our path. So, uh, all right, let's go ahead and target our first thing. We're going to start it off with another gold brick statue, which I was curious to see how many gold bricks this one was going to require. Looks like it's only 20 this time. So to complete my theory, it looks like each one we do will raise the price of the next one by 10 gold bricks. So first one was 10 this one's 20 my guess is the next one's going to be 30 now they are all a little bit different and all kind of uh themed to the area that we build it in so uh you can see there is some sort of an emperor i'm sure that's somebody of um, great importance but i have no idea who it is so moving along we're gonna go ahead and target our first puzzle which uh some of these are fairly simple and some of these are a little bit more redonkulous now i did a preliminary run which means i went through and did all the puzzles to kind of check and see what they were and you know what this has got to be my favorite one so far i love the pew pews and we get to do a lot of pew pew so uh, we're going to go ahead and listen to what he's got to say. Hop on the old cannon here and get our pew pew on. Turns out you need to get 25 of these floating bad guys within the, uh, what is it, 30 seconds that they give you. So you have to be pretty efficient. And if you're really, if you got a really good eye and you're really aware of small things, you probably noticed there was a little bit of an edit back there. I did not get it on my first try. Uh, this time, ironically, during my preliminary run when I was testing the waters of the puzzles, trying to make sure I knew how to do everything, I did, in fact, get it on my first try this one i did not though it actually took me two times so uh, i got it though we got that gold brick and you know how much we love gold now that also was part of the mini game master challenge too so uh we we might do a special video for the mini game master challenge and kind of go through and show you where they all are however if you follow along in our free roam videos or simply go to the quick links down below you should be able to kind of quickly get through all of those as well now, this next, well, this Stan Lee, or Freely, 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 as we like to say, this one was kind of tricky because we could kind of uh, cheat a little bit. Look, we can pull a grapple plug off of an area that's supposed to be covered with silver bricks. So I thought maybe if I pull them both off, it would activate that generator and spin out Stan Lee and does not, it doesn't work. You have to actually take off the silver bricks too. So pull both grapples and remove that silver brick blockage to go ahead and Freely, 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 and get your goo brick. Oh, and don't forget a handful of studditch too. All right, got to get them all. You see, I was going to fly off, but then I saw, no, there's a couple of bluesies there. And even though we almost got 14 billion, I don't know, there's just something about that uh, bouncing blue stud that just calls me and lures me in. All right, uh, moving along, we got another puzzle. And keep in mind, there are no specific order on how you should do these, at least not, not this time, not in this particular video. So you can go ahead and do any puzzles or all the puzzles and then come back and do all the missions or start with the missions or whatever you prefer. Now, this is kind of fun. We actually, uh, while we were in Hawaii recently, we got a chance to play some miniature golf. And, and it had been a long time. Now, most of you don't know this, but I actually used to work at a miniature golf course for about four years. I kind of helped, uh, well, I didn't operate, but I, I helped run a course by being one of the uh, faithful employees. And that was many, many years ago and uh, lots of fun. But uh, it was nice to get back into some miniature golfing, not only in real life but also in the digital world like this is kind of something new i have to admit if lego released 
even a DLC pack, if not a full release of like miniature golf, I would totally play it. I would totally play it. So Lego, Warner Brothers, TT, if you're listening, make us a Lego miniature golf. Even like a Lego sports would be fun. Kind of like, you know, do a Wii sports type of thing, but with Lego? I mean, that would be pretty awesome if I'm being honest. Now, this, uh, all these, these are all about timing. So I, I actually got really lucky. I make it look like I'm a professional. And that's not because I got experience in real life. It's because I got really lucky. It's all about timing. So, uh, you know, and, and if you mess up, don't worry. You should be able to just re-putt again until you get it. Or as we like to say in the golfing world, take a mulligan. So, all right, we uh, no mulligans needed. We do get a little lost to try to find our gold brick, but we turn around and we find it. Look at that. We've got another mini game checked off of our list. So we are one third of the way done with that challenge. So that'll be nice to get that knocked off and in our rear view. And uh, next up, we got another puzzle. So this one's kind of funny. So I knew this one was down low because I did my preliminary run. But I got a little sidetracked and suckered into the blue halo. And up top I go, and it turns out I got a drop down below. So let's go ahead and see what we got down here. And oh, it's a little clothing shop that requires a little bit of organization. So basically what is going on here is you have three outfits. Each outfit has a specific head, a specific body, and a specific set of legs. Or, honey, where's my pants? So we'll go ahead and match those up. Now, once you get the correct combination, it will actually light up that red light green. And then you can go ahead and actually activate the machine by pressing that button. And then it pukes it out. And then you can go ahead and use somebody with telekinesis like Doctor Strange to go ahead and put them in their place. That's right, chicken. Get in your place. And uh, next up, we've got this weird, I don't know, it looks like a Ronin head. Uh, and I don't know, it's got some weird, uh, we'll go ahead and get it all matched up, though. We got the purple, or I guess it's bluish body, kind of blue and purple. Uh, we certainly don't want the chicken head. And, oh, look at that, we've got it. And Booyaka Shao, it opens up, and we've got number two done. So I, I kind of feel like that's some sort of a creation or version of uh, Ronin. Am I, am I right? I mean, it's kind of got like that weird... Uh, I don't know what it, that is that he's wearing. It's not really a hat. It's not really a hoodie. I don't know what it is. Anyhow, back to the machine we go. And let's see here. We got we got the crown. We know we got a king somebody. And uh, we got uh, not purple pants. Uh, it looks like the black pants. Booyaka show. Now, Doctor Strange's head was in the way of the little red and green light down there. So... Uh, it didn't look like anything changed, but it did. He was just blocking it. That's right. Vivo, Lottie, Doctor Strange got more head than he got body. Anyways, uh, moving along here. That's from an old movie. Anybody know what that's from? Vivo, Lottie, got more head than he got body. Anyways, uh, I would be pretty impressed if somebody labeled that one down below because that is an old school. Oh, and speaking of old school, we got this uh, this lady coming in to come check out our uh, different vintage patterns that we put together in the back here. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be caught dead wearing any of those outfits out in public, uh, digital or RL, real life for all of those who weren't familiar with RL. Anyways, uh, moving along. So, okay, this next mission here is actually a result of us completing... Or no, excuse me. This opens up another mission. I said that wrong. So, uh, by completing the A-bomb mission, this actually unlocks Wonder Man, which should be over in Manhattan. So, you know, we talked about uh, some of these missions unlocking other ones. And that's actually the reason why we're doing these missions first. Now, naturally, you'd probably want to do Manhattan Free Roam first, just because you start in front of the Avengers Mansion. That's what, you know, why not Why not start with that? So, uh, in our case, we did a little research, and it turns out there were a handful of missions that didn't unlock in Manhattan until you completed them elsewhere. So, that is why we started with Egypt, because that was actually one of the first prerequisites. And then we had to go do uh, that. Uh, Egypt actually opened up a quest for uh, Morbius in medieval England. And now A-Bomb is going to unlock Wonder Man in Manhattan. And uh, next, we're actually going to do Medieval England, which will open up not only our first boss battle, but it's also going to open up our first Gwenpool mission, too. So we're not going to do that one as part of the free roam, but we will do the Gwenpool mission really soon. In fact, a uh, little secret, if you're watching this, uh, the DLC for Black Panther actually comes out today. So I know this video doesn't come out for a couple of days, so it's going to be kind of behind, but uh, we should be getting that DLC for Black Panther today. And we also got a package from Warner Brothers showing up, so we'll do an unboxing with who knows what they sent us uh, we already have the game so we're not getting the game it's gonna be something Black Panther related I'm assuming but uh, I haven't really seen a lot of Black Panther merchandise out there yet uh, so who knows I, I it's a little too early to get a copy of the movie I would think 
uh, as it's not even out in theaters yet. But you never know. I mean, Warner Brothers has done some pretty cool things to, uh, or for us and to other channels and other you know creators like us. So who knows what they've got in store for us? We just know that we are excited and we cannot wait to get that package, which actually should be here in the next hour or two. So I know you guys don't get to see it for quite a while, but. Uh, you know, depending on when you're watching this, it may already be available on the channel, so take a peek for that. Now, uh, as I've got kind of distracted with my commentary of what's actually happening on screen here, it's pretty self-explanatory. We've got a bunch of baddies. A-Bomb is leading us around to a series. It turns out there's four. Usually it's the rule of three, but if I remember right, he actually takes us on four. And uh, we take out all the baddies, and that solves the mission and allows us to move on. Now, I am not a big fan of these... This hand-springing crazy ninja who always seems to kick my teeth in. But, uh, you know, I pick him up, give him the old one-two pow right in the kissa, and that still wasn't enough to finish him. So uh, we are still back at it. I thought my triple missiles would do a good job, but they, he does a pretty good job of blocking those. And he's really good at flying off and being a pain for me. But last but not least, look at that. He knocks me all the way back. That's crazy. All right, come on. There we go. Booyah, kashaw. All right, last but not least, let's go ahead and follow A-Bomb up the hill over into Egypt. Man, we're going all over Chronopolis on this one. But uh, this has got another group of baddies. we got to simply take these guys out. And I believe this is the final one, and he gives us our uh, character token. I was going to say gold brick, but it's not. It's a character token for A-Bomb, which also unlocks. Now, that's the one thing that's kind of uh, not cool. You know, they did a really good job in this game of, like, you know, helping us figure out which character we needed. Like, when you walk up to a silver brick and you need to break it, it actually uh, almost always recommends that you choose Iron Man or another character that has those abilities. Same with telekinesis. If you need somebody with telekinesis, it'll often recommend Doctor Strange. Now, I have found that if you have a gravity booster in front of you, it doesn't really recommend Star-Lord that often, which is okay. But it does a pretty good job of kind of telling you where and what you need to do. Uh, however, it did not notify us when those missions were locked or unlocked by completing other missions. So, like, once we complete this one, it, I promise you, it does unlock a mission in medieval England, but it doesn't actually show us on the map or ring off a bell or do anything different. It literally just goes on about its day, but it unlocks that in the background. So, uh, we only know that because of Tyler P. and his amazing guide writing status. So, uh, shout out to Tyler P. for hooking us up with that amazing information and all of the trophy achievement info. And, uh, yeah, also, while we're at it, let's go ahead and thank Warner brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game so as you guys know we've been getting taken care of for quite some time now by warner bros and hopefully that'll expand into some other companies and stuffs too so we can give more things away as you guys know warner brothers has sponsored a couple of giveaways so far this year and well i guess last year but hopefully there'll be some more this year as well so all right a bomb is officially in our arsenal and we're gonna go ahead and fly back over to hello and look at that, uh, thumby has got a little quick tip for you. Go ahead and use those quick links down below if you're in a hurry to find a particular item. So maybe you've already done all the puzzles and you don't want to watch me do this one. Maybe you need some help with that race up on the canyon hill there. Whatever the case may be, feel free to quickly click those quick links. I like how I get all slow and monotone when I say that. It's kind of an oxy uh, moron there, right? Or maybe I'm just the moron. Who knows? <laughs> Anyways, uh, next one's a puzzle. One of the simplest ones we found yet. Simply dig out, uh, well, it looked like some sort of a tomb, and go ahead and bust it open for that gold brick. Next up, we're going to go up on that canyon hillside up behind us and take on that race, which is actually going to give us an opportunity to unlock the Spider Woman character token. So that's handy. Hmm? Now, uh, keep in mind, too, we have not purchased but only a couple of our character tokens that we have unlocked. The reason is, is we're going to do a live stream and unlock all of them at one time. That is, all of the ones we don't need to complete the free roam, free play, and Gwenpool missions. Now, there are a few characters we are unlocking in free roam that will need to be purchased in order to access those, uh, I believe, the Gwenpool missions. But maybe that's not true. Maybe I am wrong on that. I'll have to get back to you. But, uh, all right, speaking of getting back to you, we have not actually had to do one of these Spider-Man races yet. Now, Spider-Man is fun to use as he flings webs all over the city into unknown spaces. Like, where are those webs going right now? Like, how are we attached to anything? I get when we're next to a building or whatever, but when there's no buildings up there, what? I mean, does webs actually stick to clouds? I don't know, but... 
Uh, anyhow, moving along, it was actually kind of fun. There are a few times, about every third or fourth web fling, he actually goes really high and does this crazy, like, triple backflip. And it always worried me that, like, I was going to go over or around one of these rings. So I kept going lower and lower and lower. Uh, I, I actually did pretty good. I, I made it all the way to the end of my first try. And, you know, another little uh, tidbit I'd like to give a shout-out to Warner Bros. and TT on is, is the labeling of the rings. Like, I don't know that we've ever seen a race in LEGO games where it actually tells you how many more uh, rings you have or, you know, checkpoints or whatever you want to call it. M maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just having a brain fart. <laughs> And I, and I don't remember, but as it turns out, I, I feel like, I, I feel like this is the first time that they've had this and I, and I like it. It's a nice addition. It, it's kind of nice to know that you're almost to the end. And oh, speaking of almost, the, I was almost out there. You see that? I, this is one of those big double back, triple back flip things. And anyhow, get a little lower, I guess. And uh, we're coming into the home stretch, 25 and 26 woo to the hoo except for the only problem is now we're all the way over in hydra empire this is pretty cool too i like how they allow us to crawl up the wall i mean it makes sense it's spider-man right anyhow all right uh so we are way over here i sounded like wilbur there for a second for all you old timers out there anyways uh yeah google wilbur and uh wilbur the horse and see what you get and that that just dates how old i really am Right, so we've tagged Mission 2, which gives us the Taskmaster character token for completing. And we've got a long journey over here. So once we get here, we're going to pull up the map again because we plan on using the Quick Link right about here. And that'll probably help you get here. Anyhow, uh, we are back in action. We've got another mission at hand, and this one's pretty easy. This one is actually one of those. It's kind of like a memory game. He wants us. Yes, he talks about photographic memory, and he's got this group of people that comes out of this like little clown car here. Watch this. I don't know how many people. There's like seven people come out of this little box. I'm assuming it's a doorway into a room, but, uh, you know, if it's not, think about that. Look at it. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Yep, seven people. So essentially what we need to do here is just pay attention, and he's going to ask you a, a question. And then if you get it right, you get to move on to the next one where they come out again. They do something. Well, they all do the same thing. He just asks you a different question, I guess. So uh, they should all be the same. I'm not positive if that's the case. But in this uh, situation, it asks how many volunteers were wearing purple. Well, guess what? It was only one. So we go ahead and check that off, and we move into the next one. Now, I do make a mistake at the end. Uh, the the female characters are dancing, and for whatever reason, I chose waving. Now, um, but apparently that one in the gray there, even though she's waving, I don't know. It's weird. And, and is that one right there with the blonde hair, is that a male or a female? Like, it looks like a, a guy to me. But anyways, I guess it doesn't matter in this day and age what they look like. Or whatever, but anyhow, moving along from that one. Uh, volunteer was wearing a hat. Which one what, and what type of hat? It was a cowboy hat. And hey, I know we kind of got some overlapping text right there, but hey, Thumby is true and correct. If you are in a hurry, we do have quick links down below. You may have already completed this, and you may not want to watch all this. And I do fail, but I edited out the fail so you don't get to see it. So you might miss out on some fun stuff. I guess not really. <laughs> you won't miss out on any fun stuff. This is actually the one I do believe I got incorrect as I do look at my editor and there is an edit coming right about three, two. Oh, that was all right, I guess. But uh, let's see here. Female volunteers were dancing, 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 dancing. Look at that. We got them all correct. So uh, we are good to go. He's going to hook us up with his very own character token. So now in this game, I, I've, I always kind of wondered this. They, they hook us up with themselves. Are they giving us like a trading card version of themselves and that's what we get? Or, I mean, are they really like giving themselves to us? It's kind of weird to think about if you think about it, right? All right, next up, we've got another puzzle. So uh, we'll go ahead and backtrack over here. Some of these seem like maybe they've appeared by completing other ones. And there are going to be some locked items or areas uh, that will unlock by completing other quests and uh, gold bricks. Well, I guess puzzles and missions. I said that wrong. They switched it on us. Why is it missions now? It's always been quests, right? Uh, anyway, puzzles make sense. This one's one of the simpler gold bricks, too. Simply use a character like Thor to go ahead and work your way through that cracked wall. Right behind that, gold brick. So 
Next up, we've got another rooftop puzzle. And we'll go ahead and raise the roof all the way up. That's right. Once we get up here, this one's pretty simple, too. We just need a character that can actually use a oops, 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 techno panel. That's right. I'm keeping it alive. I'm, I'm bringing it back. We've uh, we've had the techno panel little uh, sound effect for quite a while. I don't, you know, you guys have never really commented one way or the other if you like him or not. Like Buika Shao, we know most of you guys like Buika Shao. You say it, you say it, talk to us, you send us messages. We don't know about the techno panel though. What do you think? Is that is that old? Do I need to let that one go, or is that like nostalgic at this point that I got? If I let it go, it would kind of ruin the experience. You know, let me know down below in the comments, or head over to Instagram and drop us a comment there too. Because guess what? We have a presence on that social media that one and that one and that one too and if you can't see what i'm pointing at that's because uh you're not in the same room as me that's okay that's okay anyhow <laughs> moving on i'm just trying to keep it lively here as some of these videos get rather lengthy and there is some downtime in between and i know some of you prefer i would just shut my yapper but hey that's what the mute button's for right so, all right, hey, we need a character with the stealth ability to solve this one. So you will have to have completed the story in order to unlock Ravana. Now, I know there are a couple of other characters that do offer the stealth invisibility option. However, I don't know who they are off the top of my head, and I'm not sure what you have to do to unlock them. So my best piece of advice is if you do not have a stealth character, complete all 20 levels of the story, and you will actually be rewarded with Ravana, who does, in fact, have that stealth ability. So... Here we go, we got Captain America doing a little reflection, and uh, yeah, it's not self-reflection, we, we worry about that at another time. This one happens to be an actual laser beam reflection, which we're going to light up that power grid there, and uh, that's weird, we turn the power on and it removes the door? I think that's backwards, but we'll take it either way. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's see, what do we got next? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, that's right. This is, so, okay, one of the challenges we need to complete is the People's Hero, which requires us to take out 25, or I guess save 25 citizens in peril. Look, I am on top of these exclamation marks. There are two people here with purple hair. They seem to be running like mad men or women, depending on what they are. But there's no bad guys or anything for me to do to eradicate them. So... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just move along, people. That's right, nothing to see here. And don't ask me why I targeted this mission way over in the corner and skipped over all those ones in the middle. It just felt right. I don't know why, it just felt right. So, we'll go ahead and make our way all the way around the outside edge of Hala. And looks like we've got Rawhide Kid character token up for grabs here by completing this quick little mission here. And it turns out we have to follow him around and take out some bad guys. Basically, we've got to show him how to be a cowboy. Uh, no, it's kind of what's going on. But basically, it's a little different than that. So uh, we quickly speed through the old conversation. And we're going to follow him down and around. And Oh, yeah, that's right. So basically, he has seen this giant... Uh, monument, or I don't remember what he calls it. He calls it something else. Um, but there's the head of it, and that's what we're after. And it turns out there's a whole bunch of the uh, the people of Cree. What are oh, are they just the Creans? I, I can't remember. And then, see, there's a lot of stuff that I've learned in this, but there's still plenty for me to pick up and learn. But yeah, so it is the, the Cree. The people are the Cree, right? I, I wanted to say Korean, but that sounds too much like Korean, right? I mean, that's and maybe that was the point when they created it. I, I don't know. But uh, check it out. We've got a whole series of bad guys attacking us. Turns out one of them's got some good. So we'll need somebody with a heat ray. So we switch on over to, I believe, Iron Man. Yep. There we go. No, come on, Peter. Switch on. There we go. And this is fun because we can just get our melt on. However, why do our guys always get in our way? It seems like every time we're doing something, our AI is not very I. They, that's just kind of like at the end of the day... Um, although, you know, but it's, it's kind of tough because I don't want that character to stand there and do nothing, which is kind of what he's doing. But at the same time, I don't want him to take out all the bad guys and advance the story in parts where maybe I don't want to. So it's kind of a catch-22 situation there on the AI. It's like they got to be like ASI, like a artificial semi-intelligent. <laughs> but ASI sounds kind of weird, right? So I guess we'll probably veer away from that. But, uh, all right, we got a few guys here coming up. They keep popping up and, uh, like, pop a diddy pop. 
But uh, eventually we get them all, and I think that's it. He's going to, yeah, he's giving us a speech, I guess. I'm talking over his speech. And there we go. I was going to say, reward us already. Come on, man. Some of these just go on forever, or it takes a while for it to recognize what's going on here. So, anyhow, we got, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. This one unlocks the Red Wolf mission in another area. Now, I have to be honest, I wasn't paying attention to what he said, and I don't have my important notes of where the Red Wolf unlocks, but this was another reason why we did Hala second uh, because it's just part of it. So so our goal here, again, to kind of reflect on this, is we're going to try to do all of the free roam, but along with the free roam, we're knocking out the challenges, and as we unlock the Gwenpool missions for... Because the Gwenpool missions need certain characters, and those certain characters are scattered throughout free roam. As we unlock them, we will go ahead and take on the Gwenpool. So be looking for a Gwenpool mission after we complete Medieval England, which is where our first Gwenpool pops up. All right, we got Modom as opposed to Modak. And uh, so I guess this is the female version. Is this like wifey or something? I don't know. But uh, we'll go ahead and follow her around. It turns out that there are a handful of baddies that need to be taken out. Now, I think this is the rule of 4-2, if I remember. Now, something to think about, too. As we go around through the town, there is a trophy achievement. I can't remember what it's called, but it's for destroying 100 vehicles. Now, you've probably noticed I've taken out a few here and there. We will most likely do a specific video for that, but I didn't want to have to take out 100 vehicles when it was time to do that video, so I figured I'd knock a few out along the way, and I recommend you do the same. Now, you can literally post up and just blast away until you get that thing to ring off. However, I'm not, like I said, I don't want to spend a whole day doing it. I kind of want to do it uh, step by step, so... Go ahead and knock out a few along the way, as you can see here. And the rockets seem to do a pretty good job. Let's see, somebody else was doing a really good job of destroying stuff yesterday. I can't remember who it was, but we'll probably find out along the way. It's probably in this video at some point. Now, I do find that the heat ray is a very effective tool to take out big groups of baddies, uh, as it will pretty much take down any, group, any type that comes at you, unless they have a silver brick on them that's protecting them so uh, even the gold ones you know they come out with that gold and they need to be melted down so might as well have somebody out to do it right all right so that's that's two in the bags there's three i don't remember if this is the final one or not i feel like there's one more and hey where are these guys deploying from like there's no ship up above me right i i, I mean I'd like to know, Warner Brothers, TT Games, I got some questions. Where do these webs go when they go straight up off the screen? Like, it looks, like, clean. Like, I, I won't deny that. Like, the whole thought of it, you know, looking okay is great. But the, the thought of where it goes has really got me, I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to sleep tonight. I think I might lose some sleep over this. Probably not, but you never know. <laughs> All right, we got this. I believe this is the last group here. Come on, quit getting in the way. See, an artificial semi-intelligent hopping in the way again. And that's all right. We'll go ahead and make mincemeat out of them all. Now, I thought maybe we were going to move along to another one. But, oh, see, here it goes. The heat ray. That's what it is. Look at that. I just melt them on down. And I have not been counting, so I really don't know how many I've got or how many are left. And this was weird, too. So I, I'm wrong. It turns out there are more than four. There are five. And she got stuck. Like, she, like, started to advance and then came back and then got stuck. And now she's going forward. So, not really sure what's going on here. But we'll take it as we are finally moving. And I do believe, I really do, do, do believe that this is the final spot. But we'll find out here in a second, right? Only one way to find out. I will let it be known, though. We are in the home stretch of this video. We only got about three minutes, maybe four minutes left. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to quickly get through that. And oh, look at that. We are officially done with mission number four. So pay us with your trading card or character token or whatever we want to call this thing. And we'll go ahead and move along, people, because we got things to do. That took way too long. You can see I was being impatient in the game, too. I was like, tap, 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 moving along, moving along. All right, I'm going to fly right over those people, heroes, situations, and go back to one of these puzzles in the back corner here. And let's see, this one, it's going to yield us another gold brick. Back for more training. All right, we've got, uh, oh, this one's down under. That's right. So this one's kind of like that one on the far right side, but it's on the left, and it turns out the entrance is also on the left. So we'll fly all the way around to the outside and make our way down and in. This one requires us to, uh, we're making some sort of a concoction here. So we need to help her with her experiment or him. I guess I still haven't figured that out yet, which... I don't know if I need to, because we're almost done with this area. So, uh, basically, we need to uh, we need to fix some pipes on the wall. 
We need to move some sort of plant matter into uh, the machine as well, which telekinesis is used for that. And then they got these chemicals in these tubes that need to be uh, pushed into place. So to do that, smash the boxes around them and rebuild that checkerboard pathway. And then, of course, I, look at me. I'm just destroying everything. Might as well clear out everything and see what you're dealing with. Find the bouncing bricks, the non-bouncing bricks. And in our case, we're going to find some telekinesis. So we uh, go ahead and let's see. We'll do a little flower arrangement here make it all pretty that's right let's switch it all up mix it up all right and let's see here what okay we got to push this along now i have found that for whatever reason dr strange does not well you know what i take that back you know i didn't think it was going to give us the uh the icon to go ahead and punch that down the checkerboard path but it did I had troubles with it in another level. I think it was Egypt. I, I don't remember. Maybe, maybe it was medieval England. I haven't right. haven't done the video for that one yet as far as editing and stuff. But anyways, uh, I had some troubles. But he does. I guess he can push it. So I stand corrected. He can push it along. Next up, and last but not least, we have to go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up on the wall here. There's a charge panel that requires a little bit of electricity. So Thor will get her done for us. And we'll go ahead and light it up. And fill up. I guess that extracted the chemicals into the tank. And now it's pulling all them flowers into the tank. And mixing it all up. That's right. Shake it up. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. All right. Gold brick is ours. And next up, what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, it's puzzle number nine. I do believe this might be our final objective for this area we'll have to double check here in a second and we will do that i promise you we always look now that's one thing okay complaint number two for this game is that why didn't they give us the area totals for free roam we don't ever really know if we're done well i guess that's not true some of the areas have a boss battle so once you get the area completed in most areas you'll get a boss battle and once you complete that boss battle then that area is officially done but that's not true either because there's often gwenpool missions there so I don't know. It's kind of confusing, but you know what? It's not as confusing as Lego Ninjago movie was, so we'll take it. But, uh, all right, hey, up top of the last puzzle, we got to use a repair character, somebody like Iron Man. He actually can get all of this done. He can melt down the gold. He can smash down the boxes. He can also build the pieces up, and he, uh, he gets it done. So we'll go ahead and light this up by building it up, and watch that little red tube fill up. And, oh, we got the giant chicken, and this is pretty suiting, too, as, you know, they got these floating statues all around Hala. Well, we're going to go ahead and put the middle or centerpiece one up right now. Look, he gives it the old pow right in the kissa. He kicks it on, and have you ever noticed that? There's always that notion that, like, beating it's not going to help it. But you know what? More often than not, the old pow right in the kissa helps whatever you're working on, whether it's a Nintendo, whether, <laughs> whether it's your watch, cell phone. Well, cell phone might be a little bit much, but... All right, we raised the roof with the chicken. So uh, we'll cock a doodle do at you later. That's going to do it for all the collectibles, I do believe. Once we get our pay us, come on. He's gonna. He says something about, uh, all I have is this big gold brick. It's got to be worth something. Yeah, see, look at that. Oh, it's a sparkly rock is what he says. Yeah, sparkly rock, that sounds suspect. Depending on what side of town you're living on, I would probably stay away from sparkly rocks. <laughs> All right, so check it, check it out. We're going to go ahead and swoop through the area to make sure, because there is no boss battle for Hala. There was no boss battle for Egypt either. So uh, guess what? Middle England, or sorry, medieval England is up next, and it has a boss battle. So do, 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 do. Guess what? That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Hala Free Roam, where we got all of the collectibles, and uh, we had fun doing it, hopefully. But uh, So hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys are all understanding of what's going on with the Free Roam, the challenges, how we're doing this, why we're doing the order, and all that. And if you're not, ask some questions down below. And if you are, that's going to do it for me. As always, until next time. See ya! <laughs>